Pullman. From 15 feet away, the shot misses. The aces go the other way with it. It's stolen by Parker. Outside Wheeler. Off target from three-point range. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Outside Howard. To the inside. Parker, gray defending. The offensive rebound. Parker gets the bucket. <laughs> a relentless attitude. Parker commits herself to the boards whenever she's on the court. Leaner from distance. Wilson can't hit. With no one guarding her closely, she's better off not trying the leaner. Pass to Wheeler from downtown. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. I'm not the biggest fan of that shot. But guess what? He had the space to get it off, so why not? Now a timeout called by Las Vegas. Looking back at the Atlanta franchise, they had an incredible run from 2010 to 2013, making the WNBA Finals three times in four seasons. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. And during that dream run of WNBA Finals appearances, they never quite could get over the hump and grab a title. But man, those teams were special. Well, on that uh, 2013 team that lost the Finals, the team that future All-Stars like Gaston yeah. Thomas, Tiffany Hayes, Alex Bentley, uh, just a loaded roster. Foul. I have no idea why she's fouling there. Maybe there's a little bad blood Las between Vegas those two. Foul. Maybe. I mean, that's the only explanation for it. And even then, it's not a very good one. Cheyenne Parker's got space. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Two Young. Misses off the right iron. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Here's McDonald. That three off the mark. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like Jackie that. Jackie Young. Young shot's good. High degree of difficulty shot. Jackie Young, not easy to deny. Atlanta in the lead. Pass to McDonald. Puts up a three. Hamby grabs the miss. Right side, Williams. They get it again. Plum, right side, Young. Shoots over McDonald. Young shot is off. McDonald with it. Now Young defending. The three ball. That doesn't go either for Ari McDonald. Raquana Williams goes in. Yep, count it. Attacks the foul with fearlessness. Williams refuses to shy away from contact. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. Now McDonald. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Over Hamby. Here's Vaughn. Buries it down low. Great trip down the floor. McDonald working it to an uncovered player. Smart basketball. The ace is trailing. Out of bounds. It'll go to the dream. That is an unforced error if I've ever seen one, guy. It's just not an ideal pass. Here's Howard. And he's an intentional foul there. Wish I could say why. Yeah, yeah, that was a strange play. I'm not sure what came over her. I mean, if you ask me, it's just an odd time to foul. Goes up off the inbound. And that's two points on the layup. Few players make interior scoring look as effortless as Ryan Howard does. She has got just such a fluid offensive game. Gray with the bucket. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. 
Outside McDonald. Back to Howard. Mom Premier. That's good, and it's Ryan good. Howard with the assist. It's yeah. so nice to have somebody who can take charge, take the offense like she has. Well, they got to be feeling good just about having great. the ball in her hands right now. I mean, she's just making play after play. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Chelsea Gray. Pass to Williams. Down low. Here's Hamby. And that one drops. Well, you might be surprised by Williams' court vision, but she isn't. She knows she can make sharp passes offensively. And so that's a lot of scoring in a competitive first quarter. Dream out in front. Up three. And we'll get the... And it's been a tight one here as the second quarter getting going. And looking at what we've seen from the dream, what do you guys think? There hasn't been a lot of settling for outside shots really early on. Yeah, they've done a good job to work it low and not take the easy way out on offense. No shortcuts. Pound it low. And a look at the mobile one drive driving right into your living room. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Ascension ownership change prior to the 2021 season. Las Vegas has set their sights on being the model franchise in the WNBA, making a major financial move. She can time her passes so perfectly. What an assist. And the Aces are setting the standard in the WNBA, especially off the floor. Yeah, there's just so much going on. I mean, whether it's the incredible new practice gym that rivals any basketball facility out there or their big-time investment in the coaching position. You could also look at them expanding the front office, marketing and player development. I mean, the Aces are doing it the right way, and I would love to see other WNBA teams follow. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Howard with the ball. Picked up by Plum. And Plum gets the whistle that time. That is the first foul of the game. First. Third team foul. In for your athletic dream. Kia Vaughn. Outside Wheeler. And she's going to get whistled for the foul. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. I don't see the reasoning as well. I mean, yeah, I don't know what she was thinking out there. Just out of touch with the game situation, I'm guessing. I don't know. And that's an intentional foul. Well, four years of college basketball, Erica Wheeler averaged just about seven points per game. Undrafted out of school, Wheeler's game has translated really well to the WNBA. And so she makes both from the line. And Erica Wheeler, her scoring average has gone up in the WNBA. Well, she's also been top 10 in the league in assists. And really some players like Wheeler, when they get to the pro game, they thrive because it's more of an open game and it's played at a quicker pace. And here are the dream. To the middle. Vaughn, that's good. Just the way they wanted, within touching distance. Timeout called the Aces. Well, in this salary cap league, rookie contracts have massive value. The lower cap numbers, they really help with team building. If you have a few players on rookie scale deals, that frees up space to go up after a big free agent or two. And that's why the WNBA draft is so crucial for teams. If you can just find a keeper, you have a big leg up on the competition. Outside Plum. And the ball out of play. The dream will happen. Yeah, the ball. Here's Howard. And uh, just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. And now the Aces on the break. Here's Young. Oh. And it's good. Walk through the contact. Hit the shot. And she'll first go to the line. Foul, teams first. First team well, foul. at the games in Tokyo, Jackie Young represented the United States in three-on-three -three basketball. 
which was the first three-on-three -three competition at the games. And Jackie Young taking home gold at the games, but she was a late addition to that U.S. roster. Yeah, Jackie replacing uh, Katie Lou Samuelson, who couldn't make it to Japan. Jackie Young making history, winning that first ever three-on-three -three gold with Kelsey Plum, Stephanie Dolson, and Alicia Gray. Williams inside, recorded by Williams. Howard, and Williams gets it to go. Well, listen, converting through contact is a mindset, and it's clear that Williams is of a rare breed. Young comes with the double team. Clock at six. Howard can't get it to go. The ace is leading. To the paint. And the basket the by Hamby. Using that 6-3 frame to finish Asia down low. Wilson. Hamby's got fantastic touch to go along with her height. Outside Howard. Inside Hillman. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Here's Wilson. Lays it up and Asia banks it Wilson. in. When Wilson gets the rock down low, it's almost automatic. So effective. Close in. Guarded by Young. And the foul is called. She intentionally Jackie grabbed Young. her there First for person. some reason. And maybe she was trying to slow Jesus the pace down. I don't know. Strange move one way or the other. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. And the second free throw, good. And winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Chelsea. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. Oh, yeah. Step back and squared up. Some fancy ball skills right there. Since when does she take defenders off the dribble like that? Here's Hamby. Goes right through Deirica for bucket Hamby. number three. She's a perfect three for three. The awareness of Gray, a terrific teammate who is good at recognizing when someone on her team is uncovered. Time out, time out. Atlanta, Atlanta time out. calls timeout. If you want to check out some incredible dimes, just look up Chelsea Gray's highlight reel. She has mastered the no look pass. Which section wants a Let's keep it going, fans, for your Atlanta dancers. Pass to Hillman. Howard. She's just scored her first basket with that shot, making her one for four. In a survey of WNBA general Two managers, Chelsea half. Gray Two was minutes. voted the assist maker with Asia. the most Wilson. player. Uh, they're not wrong. Dear One of the most exciting Hamby. players in the league. Gray is the type of player you pay to Las come Vegas see. Crowd favorite, Asia. just a fantastic yes. point guard. First well, there are so many things first. that players like to do to unwind. But what if I told you that Ryan Howard loves to draw and that painting cartoon character is her favorite? Knocks down the first one. And one of the brightest young stars in the league, Ryan Howard. Howard, just so many off the floor talents. In addition to, to painting, Howard loves to crochet. They, she plays the piano, creates graphics. So Ryan Howard, just a, a brilliant player and a brilliant person. Gray, guarded by McDonald. Two points, that Chelsea one goes Gray. in. You know, I think the, the size of Gray sometimes surprises opponents. Yes, she's a one, but she's almost six feet and just so strong. The three is up, and Ari McDonald gets the three. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. It's stolen by Parker. Let's go with a three. And the dream, another three. Streaky from deep. Once McDonald hits one, more can follow. Watch out. To the paint. Here's Wilson. An easy two points on the layup. Now here's Howard. Ryan Howard has doubled. 
to the middle. Here's Mon Premier. Nice pass. <laughs> Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He put that lead pass on a platter for her. Hamby with the ball. McDonald picks her up. Hamby misses. Atlanta in the lead. McDonald. She's guarded by Wilson. And that one is good. <laughs> Developing both physically and mentally over the last few seasons, Arthur's really come a long way. And that Easy. one good. Great job yes, spotting her teammate near the bucket and firing the pass in there. And Atlanta has possession. She's guarded by Williams. And Chelsea Gray is going to pick up the foul. Chelsea. So that'll be her second, second foul of the game. Foul. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Two shots. The first free throw is good. A lottery pick by the Atlanta Dream in 2021. Ari McDonald, an exciting player in this league. So she gets them both. Now the Aces with it. It'll be a turnover. Trailing by four. And the ball out of play. The Dream will have it. Where was she going with that pass? I have no clue. That, that's awful. That's just giving it away. There's the triple. Down it goes. Her third basket. He's now three for four. Pass to Stokes. Over Parker. Three seconds left. It's stolen by Parker. And that That's does it for the first half of the play. Dream out in front. They're up by seven. 46. The second half just about to get going here. And when you look at McDonald, she's a player who's been getting it done. What a first half it was for her, well surpassing her average point totals up to this stage. Yeah, she's on pace for a monster game. Here's Plum. Dream with the rebound. Wheeler with it. Since moving to Sin City in 2018, the Aces have transformed themselves into one of the WNBA's premier destinations. I think a lot of it has to do with their newly remodeled home arena. Parker with the ball. Gray picks her up. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second team foul. On defense, the Aces. Seven-point differential. Here's Wheeler. Stokes with the rebound. Growing into an elite franchise, Las Vegas has become a desired destination for players. Well, they got an awesome new owner. The players rave about their accommodations, the city. In courtside at games, you'll see stars like LeBron, CP3. I mean, huge names in the entertainment world as well. Las Vegas has been a huge success for the WNBA. One-on-one -on -one fast break. The shot off that time. Now the Dream take it the other way. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Parker Stokes with the rebound. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. That is such a careless pass. you got to keep your head in the game. And Atlanta has possession, leading by five. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. What an incredible find from Erica Wheeler. Her passing skills bring out the best in her teammates. Plum. Here's Wilson. And that's good. Asia. Off the glass that time. She's got a great read of where that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the putback. The shot's good. And the touch Wheeler has inside is remarkable. For a smaller player, she looks confident attacking from there. Let's it go for 14. It falls Jackie for the fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Look how quick she was to bite on that pump fake. Left her feet way too soon. 
Well, we know the WNBA playoffs are just one bracket. There's no distinction between West and East. And I love that setup. Some years there's clearly a better conference. In a lot of recent years, the West has been way stronger than the East. Absolutely. You want the best two teams in the finals, regardless of conference. And with this WNBA playoff system, we get that every year. Oh, and the officials whistle a foul on Cheyenne the shot. Parker. The bucket's good, and she'll What's go up? to the First line. Personal foul, teams first. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard. The first overall pick of the 2022 draft, Howard is a dynamic player. And for the dream, Ryan Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. In her first week in the WNBA, Ryan Howard was the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. It had been 20 years since a rookie won the honor in their opening week. From the jump, Ryan looking like a franchise-level player. Count it. Good. What a move there from Plum. She's not bashful when it comes to trying some slick ball handling plays. Outside Howard. Pass to Vaughn. Fires from deep. And that'll be Atlanta's ball as it goes out of bounds. Green able to keep the ball here. Both teams will make substitutions. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Outside Howard. And she's going to get whistled for the foul. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. I don't see the reasoning as well. I mean, yeah, I don't know what she was thinking out there. Just out of touch with the game situation, I'm guessing. I don't know. And it's a three-second defensive violation. And so she hits the technical free throw. Before the 2021 season, the Dream had an ownership change, a welcome fresh start for Atlanta. On defense, the Aces. Trailing by four. And it's good for two. I'll bet her percentage is pretty high from that range. With some mark. Dream with the rebound. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster Two and the end of third. Two minutes. Fires top of the key. Young shot's good. I love that shot from Young. Make defenders worry about the entire floor, not just the paint and the threes. Make them guard you in the mid-range. Vaughn. Yes. And a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. Erica Wheeler. Now the Aces with it. Eight-point game. Young shot is off. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Side Howard, six on the shot clock. Bambi outside, down low. Here's Gray. They get it back. Makes that one her Chelsea sixth Gray. of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. Well, these coaches rave about Gray. They love having her on her team. That's why. Works on the offensive time glass out, like out. a role player, even though she's been a first-team all-eager. Atlanta calls timeout. For 2019, first overall pick Jackie Young. She stumbled a little bit during her rookie season. Young scoring six points per game, shooting around 30%. Both teams deciding to change it up. On the wing, Ari McDonald. Gray defending. Outside, Wheeler. Shoots over Williams. Wheeler, good. Wheeler in her bag. What a move. The shot from 20 feet. The shot, no good. And it's Atlanta the other way. Here's Howard. Yes, and a nice yeah. assist from Erica Wheeler. You see, some players will try to overpower you at the rim. But she likes to elude you and trick you. She's got quickness and a soft touch. Second personal foul, 13 foul. 
in for your legendary. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. I'll call that time on the way up, and that'll be Asia two chances at the free throw. Third personal foul. Fourth it goes on foul. Asia Wilson, and this is her second trip to the line tonight. Beatrice Montpremier. At the first free throw is good. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Gray, left side. Basket Chelsea counts. Gray. Have to appreciate the two. focus Gray has. Reverse. Even under pressure, she stays cool and in control. Here's Wheeler, buries the seven footer. How can you stop that? With a crossover that quick, a defender has to be almost superhuman to stay in front of him. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 62. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Well, I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And the basket by Hamby. That's not easy. I mean, to get bumped and still hit it like Hamby, it's so hard to do. Wheeler with it. Gray picks her up. Parker's shot's good. She had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick out the pass and get the assist. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And even with the game well in control, they're still going right at the rim. You know, I love that mentality. And the foul is called. She intentionally grabbed her there. For Fourth some reason. And maybe she was trying First to slow the pace five. down. I don't know. Strange move one way or the other. And Chelsea Gray is going to pick up the foul. And so she picked up her final foul. And she will sit the rest of this one out. Get a comfy seat. That's it. Outside, Parker, to the inside. And an intentional foul right there. Kia Stokes, fifth personal foul, third team foul. Substitution for Las Vegas, Asia Shepard. Outside, Wheeler. And Erica Wheeler gets double team. Down to five on the shot clock. And Erica Hamby is going to pick up the foul. Hamby. That is her third foul so far. And they're one away from being in the penalty. They're going to have to be cautious from now on because the next one puts them on the line. Those free throws can really add up. Pass to Parker.
I wanna love it, more than my mother.